Susan, how do you prefer to conduct your Q&A sessions with the audience? So I've done it a couple different ways, and I actually have done panels that are just Q&A as well. Um, and when I do it, that's just Q&A, and especially if it's one person, like I did one with uh, a literary agent on what literary agents are and how to get one. Um, and that was just him and it was a QA. and a And so I asked him his preference and I gave him a couple options. Um, my preferred style for that one is to have the audience members write on pieces of paper their questions ahead of time and pass them up uh, at the beginning. And the reason I really like that is that a lot of people have the same question and it kind of allows me to put a priority on questions. It also allows me to word the questions in a way that covers the most space and that isn't offensive and that uh, that kind of gets at what they're actually asking. Because sometimes people ask a question and because they don't know the space, they don't know how to phrase it such to get their the answer they want or they're looking for. On the panels where it's multiple speakers, we usually don't do that, um, even though sometimes I think that would be good. But like because they've listened to 30 minutes of speaking already, they usually their questions would have changed. And so usually what happens is that I'll call on someone and uh, you know before I start that section, I remind them in the form of a question. And then I'll call on someone, they ask their question, and uh, the panelists take turns answering. And sometimes only one or two will answer, and that's good, and we'll go to someone else and we'll make sure the other two answer that one. Uh, I always keep a count in my head to make sure that I'm calling on a diverse number of people and like not all men or something like that. Because that I've heard that there's actually an unconscious bias um, that causes us to call on the same kind of person over and over. So I actually really do keep a account in my head to make sure I'm covering a, a swath.